All right, hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to be teaching you guys about payloads, and I'll also show you guys how to get backdoor into Metasploitable. So, if you don't have Metasploitable up and running, go watch my last video. But once you do, the first thing, like I said, that you need to do is you need to get the IP address of that. And we found out in the last video that it was 192.168.152.129. Now another thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get the IP address of your own Kali Linux machine. So this is 192.168.152.128. So pretty easy to remember, but what I did before this video even started is I just wrote those down. Now the reason that we need to get the IP addresses of both the machine we're at right now and our target's machine is because what we're going to be doing in just a second is we're going to be getting a backdoor into this machine so once we do that we need to say okay for the exploit we're going to use this is the target and this is where we're going to listen or control that machine from so make sure you have that and once you do you are good to go so clear out of there and by the way chances are the IP addresses are going to be different for your setup so just don't copy those IP addresses since yours might be a little bit different and remember, I don't even have uh, Metasploit started yet, so service post GRE SQL start up that database dun 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 and MSF console. So this is going to start the database for the exploits, and this is going to launch the Metasploit command line framework console. Starting the Metasploit framework console, we're about to get a book. But back to <laughs> got a bunny. Nice. All right. So clear out of there. Now I happen to know that the exploit is Unreal 3.2.1.8. Now a word of warning. This is an older exploit, so it's not going to work a lot on you know modern systems. I think it was found in like 2009. But the reason I want to show you this is just because. I need to teach you about payloads and I know that this one has a payload we can use and also just to get a little familiar with Metasploitable. So anyways, like I said, you're not going to find a lot of systems with this exploit but it's going to help us learn uh, what we need to learn. So alright, so I guess the disclosure was in 2010, excellent, looking good. So let's just get a little bit of info about it before we start using it. So we can see that, alright. So any system running Unreal, this version, there's an exploit where it, gives, where it allows us to have a malicious backdoor. That sounds amazing. Let's go ahead and use it. So we want to use it. Boom roasted. Now before we can, and remember, like I said, the first thing that you should always do whenever you use an exploit is just write show options. So what this does is it gives us the information that it needs in order to work properly. So it says that we're missing one piece of information right here and that is the target's address. So if I open this back up, we know that the IP address of our target is 192.168.152.129. All right, so I'm gonna set our host to 192.168.152.129. That's the machine that we're gonna be attacking. So now let me clear out of here and show options okay Bucky can you type sausage fingers and alright so we have all the information that we need so before we learned about this G, just uh, these basic options and how can how we can set them how we can edit them whatever but now we need to take it one step further and we actually need to set something called a payload now oops. so I'm gonna go ahead and write show payloads and it's going to go through and list a bunch of these things. All right. So before we go any further, what the heck is a payload? A payload is something you can do once the exploit works. So the exploit, what we set up so far, it's basically just gaining access into the system. But now you have to ask, all right, once I have access to the system, I probably want to do something, right? Well, yes, we do. And what we're going to do for our payload or kind of the ending result is we're just going to get a backdoor 
right through this payload. So basically what we're trying to do is have full control over the system. That's all we're saying, easy enough. So sounds pretty cool and in order to set a payload, no nothing, uh, it's not too hard to remember, just write set payload and then paste the name of it right there. So hit enter, that's what we're going to be using and just like the main exploit, payloads also have options. So if we write show options, then we can see that this is the main tool that we're using to gain access and these are our payload options. So now it says, okay, this is the computer you want to attack or try to find an exploit, but now whenever you get access, what address are you going to listen from? And we're just gonna do it from our own computer. So copy this and you know simple stuff so set l host to our ip address 192.168.152.128 show options and all right so this is our attack this is our payload make sure that you have everything set properly and then once you do just write to exploit now let it run and dun, 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 let me do my thing. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So let's see if I can scroll down a little bit. It's kind of weird having this on. Uh, all right, whatever. So the tool's running and you know it looks like it completed. And what the heck? Did this thing like pause or something? All I'm looking at is a blinking line at the bottom of the screen. Now it says that a session is open. Um, all right, what exactly is going on? Well, believe it or not, this blinking line that you're looking at, this is actually a terminal to our target's machine. So check this out. If you just type, who am I? It says root. Now, it's not for my Kali Linux machine. This is actually, we are in the other server, Metasploitable. So let me just look around, ls, and all right. So all of these files that we're looking at right here, these aren't files on my computer. These are files on the target computer. So we now successfully have gained backdoor into another remote system. So from here, I mean, you can do anything you want. You can start deleting files. You can look around. You can, you know, I'll leave it up to your imagination. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is the basics of what a payload is and also how to use Metasploit to gain access into Metasploitable. And there are a bunch of other um, vulnerabilities and exploits that we're gonna be covering later on. But for now, that's all you guys get. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.